Oh, man. Sometimes we get data like this. And we need to convert it from a single column to three columns, ID, date, and amount. We're going to see how to do it with text to columns, flash fill, power query, and Excel worksheet formulas. Now, we use text to columns when it's a one-time cleaning the data event. That means we don't need our solution to update if the data changes. We highlight the column, go up to the Data Ribbon tab, and in the Data Tools, there it is, text to columns. It needs to know what the delimiter is. That means what separates the data. Spaces separate our data. So we select Delimiter, Next. We uncheck Tab. Click Space. Notice it's going to treat consecutive delimiters as one, which is what we want. And there's our preview. Next. Now, the way they set up text to columns is when we use the format General, it interprets numbers and dates correctly. So all we need to do is select the destination. I'm going to say D5, Collapse, click Finish, Done. To me, if it's a one-time cleaning event, text to columns is the fastest. Flash fill is pretty fast, too. If I give it one or two examples and then go up to Data Ribbon tab and click Flash Fill, it sees the pattern established, get everything before the first space, and extract. For date, I type my example, hit Enter. It got the right date, but not the right format. So Control-1, if I add the correct format, mm slash dd slash 1234, click OK. And now I can use the keyboard to access that button, Control-E. Flash Fill saw the pattern. Get everything between the spaces and extract. For amount, 700, Enter, Control-E. And Flash Fill got everything after the last space. So with Flash Fill, we give it an example of the pattern in the data, and it does the rest. Power Query is another option. And when we use Power Query, if the data changes, we can refresh. But we definitely want to use Power Query if we're importing the data from an external source. And we are. We have a text file. So we go up to Data, Get and Transform, and there it is, From Text File. We navigate to the location for our text file, double click. We do not want to load our data yet. We want to transform. Now this is the Power Query Editor. We want to name our query. The data came with the header in the first row. So in the upper left corner, I click the drop down and select Use First Row as Headers. Over here, we can see it's added these steps. We don't need Change Type yet, so I'm going to X this out. Now we need to split. I select the column, Home Ribbon tab, Transform Group, Split Column drop down by Delimiter. In the drop-down, I want to select Custom. And then I want to type three spaces. Now when I click OK, I've split it into three columns. Now we see that it added two steps. We do want to check the data types. If we click the Data Type icon, we can see the different pictures and what they represent. For us, whole number is fine. Date is fine. But this one I want to change to decimal. Now it's polite. It asks us, do you want to replace the automatic? I do. Now we can rename the columns. Double click, ID, Enter. Double click, Date. Double click, Amount. And now it added that last step. Now we're ready to load. And if that source data file gets new data, these steps will be rerun when we click Refresh. We want to load it, so we go up to Home Ribbon Tab, Close, Close and Load drop down. We want the second option, Close and Load 2. Our example, we want a table in the Excel worksheet. And I want it on the existing worksheet, B4. Click OK. Done. Now I added one record to that data set. So now we can come up and click Refresh. It reran all the steps, and there's our data. Now we want to see how to accomplish this with Excel Worksheet Formulas. Now formulas are going to be the hardest of all these methods. And the reason we would use formulas is if we want our solution to instantly update when the data changes, that's when you use formulas. Now before we can create formulas, 
we have to recognize patterns for each bits of our data. For the first bit of data, we just need to extract everything before the first space. That means we need a formula that can find the position of that space. And the perfect function for that is search. The text we want to find is in double quotes a space. Even though we have three, we just need to find the first one, comma, within that text right there. Close parentheses, control enter. And when I copy it down, twos and threes, well, that's the correct location of the first space. But my goal is to get from the left a certain number of characters. So that's one too many. Now notice the cells are highlighted, and the light color active cell at the top is highlighted. So I hit the F2 key. I'm going to subtract 1. And to populate this formula throughout the highlighted range, I use Control Enter. And there I have the number of characters from the left. Now F2, I can use the left function. It needs to know where the text is and then how many characters from the left you want to extract. Close parentheses, and that's our formula. Control Enter. Oh, it's aligned to the left. That means Excel thinks it's text. Now, anytime we use functions like left or right or mid or any of the other text functions, they always deliver text. If you want to convert a number or a date from text back to a number or date, you can do any math operation, times 1, divided by 1. I'm going to add 0. It doesn't change the value, but that math operator will convert it to a number. Control Enter. And now we have extracted the ID. And that formula will work no matter what is on the other side of that space. Now, the pattern for our date, well, it looks like we're always going to have 10 characters. And if I search for that forward slash and go back to, then I have a starting point and 10 characters. That's the perfect situation for the mid function. We'll put our text there. Then we give it the starting position and the number of characters. We'll start with our search. And we're going to search for forward slash comma within that text. That'll be two too many, so we'll subtract two. Control Enter, double click and send it down. So we have the starting position of the text that we want from the middle part of our larger text. Now we use mid. There's the text, comma. That's the starting position, comma. And how many characters from that starting position? 10. Close parentheses, Control Enter. And now we've extracted our date, but it's text. And we want it as a real date, which is a serial number date in Excel. So we hit F2, and we do a math operation. Now when I Control Enter, these are the serial number dates, the number of days since December 31st, 1899. So we Control 1 and add some date number formatting, or I'm going for custom. MM slash DD slash YYY. Click OK. Now we have our dates. Now the last bit of data we need to extract, well, the logic is please get everything after the last space. And there is a formula for that. And it's a pretty cool formula, but it uses five functions. I'm going to try and do this differently. Since I already have these two bits of data, if I could gather that up here and use the substitute function to say get rid of all that and just leave that, that might be a little shorter formula. So our formula will be, hey, that. And I'm going to have to put the spaces back in, one, two, three. And then I'll join it to. And of course, I can't look at that date because formulas do not see number formatting. So I have to use the text function, which allows us to apply number formatting like we would in a cell, but inside our formula, comma, double quote. And we'll do our custom number formatting in double quotes. If I enter that, we can see we have almost what we need. And we'll join it to three spaces. Now I have the first part there, F2. And I can say, hey, substitute. There's the text, comma. That's the old text we want to get rid of. And we come to the end, comma, the new text. Well, we'll use the formula syntax for nothing, double quote, double quote. Close parentheses. Control Enter. Well, F2 plus 0. Control Enter. Double click and send it down. And there we have our three formulas, much more complicated than any of the other methods we've seen in the video. But if for some reason 
there was a demand that if this changed, we needed to update instantly. There we go. Formulas are the only feature inside of Excel that can do that. All right, we saw text to columns, flash fill, power query, formulas, all to accomplish our goal. Now I want to hear in the comments below, which one do you like? When do you use each one of those? Maybe you have a different solution. All right, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. And if you want to check out some more videos about cleaning data, check out these videos.